Yo, what is going on, X Community Exostomp here? Today, people, we are going to be, uh, as you can see, talking about our team builder for week number eight. Um, so this is up against Kyrak and the Kyrak's Crooks, as you can see. This team is right there. Um, and first things first, I do want to mention, um, <clears throat> I don't think we can get out of playoffs. However, <clears throat> God, I'm losing my voice. Um, I did want to try and uh, build to the best of my abilities, and I also want to. I also wanted to bring uh, Audino because I haven't brought it yet. That's why it's at the end of the thing you guys can see. But yeah, so, anyways, um, yeah. So nothing outspeeds. Everything is base ninety or below, which is really good, because um, that means is that um, I should be able to outspeed with a lot of my Pokemon, but nothing also outslows uh hatterian we'll, we'll get to that set <laughs> i don't know why i brought it up there but, um let me also oops open up the builder for that there we go okay so yeah we have inteleon uh 124 speed is to outspeed everything basically um obviously uh or beetle is the fastest pokemon base 90 so Unless anything is Scarf, you know. Uh, 248 HP, 136 defense to be able to take uh, anything from Feraligator at plus 2. Uh, and I believe this is under Reflect, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe it's more... Maybe, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I made this team a while ago, I think. But, yeah. This is a standard Light Clay set. More like uh, Light Screen, Reflect, Scald, U-Turn. Pretty standard. Archaeops, uh, heavy duty boots. I was tempted to make this um, something else, maybe. Oh, I think scarf to be able to outspeed Freligator at plus one. But then if it has Aqua Jet, there's no reason to do that. Plus, I, ha I have a Pokemon for it. You, yeah, you'll see. Heavy duty boots, uh, dual wing beat, earthquake, uh, U turn, and knock off. Um, the stats are uh, two. 204 speed to outspeed everything again. Same the 307. That's what we needed. Um, max attack adamant to be able to weaken a lot of his walls, which is going to be very helpful. And then 52 defense to take for alligators aqua jet easier, depending if it's like adamant uh, max attack. We might be able to, uh, you know, do well against it, but we'll see. Um, Hatterene. The Hatterene is pretty weird set so i i could have ran trick room here and i really looked at trick room and it does outslow everything however calm mind looks very good here the only things that i could necessarily see breaking this hatterene would be a garbador like gunk shot uh crit or something stupid um like I'm pretty sure, yeah. So it's two, two forty eight, and then one ninety six. Oh, was it one ninety six, or did I change this? I think I changed this. Uh, no, it was one ninety six. Defense to make Guzzlord's Heavy Slam three at KO. Um, with leftovers, which is really good. Um, and this is this is Choice Banded. I count Choice Banded, Adamant Guzzlord, Heavy Slam. So if that if that is the set, we're good. Um, 64 special attack to have an 88% chance to Oko the Chandelure at plus one, which is very nice. Um, if we're at plus one with Calm Mind, yeah, Dark, Dark Pulse is going to be doing a decent amount. Uh, I'm kind of hoping Chandelure doesn't come, but if it does, we're going to, we're going to try to play around it. Um, plus if I get up a Reflect in a light screen, what the heck stops me? <laughs> uh, and we are running down Dark Pulse because wanted something to hit the Orbeetle as well as the Chandelure. Um, and uh, Psyshock doesn't do enough to Chandelure, so I was thinking, hey, Dark Pulse isn't that bad. You know, you could use it. So yeah, this will be fun. Um, we got the Lantern. The Lantern, we have, uh, this is our for alligator check. 248 HP, 212 defense to be able to take two Earthquakes without Air Balloon. Um, which if we get that wish 
up back into Lantern, you know, we should be able to take it. So, the 48 special attack to Twit KO for Alligator with Discharge. Um, Volt Switch and Scold obviously should pretty much always come. Uh, Heal Bell and Discharge. Uh, I was going back and forth. Oh, well, I'll, you know what? I'll wait until I'll, you know. Um, so here we go. Don Fan. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, let me explain this. So, Air Balloon for Earthquake for Alligator, and then Water Absorb for Aqua Jet and Liquidation for Alligator. In case he wants to break my Air Balloon, Water Absorb will make sure it doesn't break. And if he crunches Lantern to break the Air Balloon, I just, you know, discharge it. Could get a pair, you know. Think, I think it's pretty good. So, I'm hoping it's it's going to be a Dragon Dance or like Sword Dance, um, Aqua Jet, Liquidation, <laughs> Earthquake set because then it can't touch me at all. But we'll see about that. Taking a, a little bit of a risk because of the Rotom uh, Volt switching around, but I'm not switching into Rotom anyways. Uh, Don Fan. So, Don Fan, um, 172 Adamant. Make sure I 2 KO Al Creamy and Oko Offensive um, Rotom. 248 HP and 28 defense uh, to be able to take two hits from for alligator. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, 44 spadef uh, to take two leaf storms from Rotom. And 16 speed for speed creeping licky licky. Um, we got earthquake and gunk shot. Those are the two main moves here. Uh, stealth rock and rabbit spin for the. Uh, hazards and stuff. Uh, Audino. So Audino, pretty simple. I actually finished this. I'm pretty sure I didn't write the moveset for her, but uh, I'll just do that now. So 248 HP, 44 defense to be able to live two body presses from more Beetle. That is the only thing I could, I could necessarily see breaking Audino uh, effectively. Um, Got 216, Careful Nature for the special attack. This is our special switch. And I wish this thing had Teleport or Baton Pass. Um, I can't see it having any other switching moves, but Teleport or Baton Pass, I can see it learning. If it had that, that'd be awesome. That, that thing would be great. But we're going to have to double probably and do some stuff, so that's going to be fun. Uh, toxic, Wish, Protect, and Knock Off. So I was... Um, I was on the fence between having Toxic on Odino and having Tox or having Toxic on Lantern because they both can learn Heal Bell. So I wasn't sure which one should have Heal Bell. I ended up doing this uh, because um, I kind of want something on Odino to do damage other than Knock Off in case uh, like for Alligator comes in and tries to set up on me. I could Toxic it if I really want to. Um, and kind of stall it out with wish protect uh see how that goes i don't know and then i could always double into lantern sometimes but um yeah so that's why i kind of did this set uh over toxic on, on lancer but yeah so that's the team um and what i think he'll bring is probably for alligator rotomo uh gligar maybe gligar yeah, maybe Gligar. Probably Gligar. I, I don't know. Kind of tough. Because a lot of my Pokemon learn ice moves. Uh, for Alligator, Rotomo. Licky Licky, Garbodor. Guzzlord and Orbito, maybe? Maybe those six? I don't know. Just throwing out random guesses. But uh, yeah, I will see you guys as soon as we start the battle. All right, and we are back. Uh, characters challenged us. This should be the week 18. Just make sure everything's all correct. I always do this just because the one time I didn't check, um, some people might know this. I know Burger knows this. Because <laughs> I complained about it in DMs. <laughs> How I showed how stupid. Uh, I made a team. I had enough speed to outspeed everything. Um, and for some reason, uh, well, I closed it out, and then when I went to battle, loaded back up, and just battled. I didn't check. The only time I didn't check, and all my speed was missing, and made sure that 
Tornadus outsped my Mega Aerodactyl, um, which was horrible, because that is literally what made me lose the game, because all I needed to do was press Dual Wing Beat three times when I won, so... It's very sad, but, uh, you know, it is what it is, sadly. Uh, but yeah, anyways, let's get on to this battle. Uh, week 8 should be good. Let's go. Alright, uh, Garbodor, Rotom... Okay, so 5 out of 6. I did mention, um, Gligar at first, but I kind of went back on it for Licky Licky, just because it's kind of his mascot, even though Kyrick's his mascot. Uh, Kyrick. <laughs> even though Crook's his mascot. Yeah, Licky Licky's like his legit mascot, I'd say, but... Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, we can handle the Gligar. I think the Gligar is mainly here for, like, rock setup, um, which is fair. Rocks do pretty good against my team, but yeah. Uh, I'll say have fun. Uh... Um, alright, so what I think he's gonna start off with is kind of, I, I can feel Rotom Well coming, right? Um, Arduino, Arduino just pressing knockoff is really nice against this team as it loses, one of his mons loses an item, but, I don't know, in case the Orbital starts off and it's some weakness policy combine mindset, that could be a problem, because I don't have much for that, or agility. Agility, that would be very annoying. Um, hmm. Mm, okay. I guess I'll post the link. Uh, yeah, okay, I put my Discord up. Oh, Parrot got it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright. This is gonna be fun. Um,. I did want to start off with, with Audino, but I don't want to get, uh, maybe Toxicking first is the best play, depending on what he starts off with. So I'll, Inteleon's nice. I think I'm just going to start off with Audino. I think it's just the safest play. It's the slowest play, but I think it's the best play. Uh, Archeops could also start off. I just think that if anything Scarf, it'll be the Rotom. And if it's Scarf, Audino is always the best play. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dino first as Garbodor starts off. Okay, so what I want to do, I kind of want to double into Domfan. Because uh, I don't want it to be Toxic Spiked or Spiked. It's kind of annoying too. Um, clicking Earthquake is kind of free. Uh, there's no Chandelure, which is actually good. I <sighs> That's nice. Um, this is a problem. I do want to press Earthquake, but I'm not sure. I'm going to press uh, Rap Spin first. Because um, it gets rid of the, uh, the spikes, which is always nice for a team like this. And uh, don't know what he would what he would go for. I'm just going to go into Lantern though. It's here for a reason. Perfect, and now what I could do is I could Volt Switch. Don't think you go in the Gligar right away. Um, he does. Okay. It's very bold play, but, you know, it's fine. Um, well, you can't Earthquake me. What would you go for? I do want to save the Balloon, though. Um... So I guess I'll save this and could go Intellion, but I also really want the Light Clay still. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem child here. I kind of want to... I'll go into maybe Donphan. Odino's good too here. You know, I'm going to go into Audino because I know I could take anything from this thing. Yeah, that's okay. Because I don't really need lefties on the Audino. And what I could do is I could just go for a knockoff of my own. Um, and when I go for knockoff, it's losing. Uh, it's a Violet, which is perfect. 
uh interesting earthquake um i just want to wish though i want to go right back into the dom fan because i do get my 33 percent back with regenerator so that's okay gunk shot's gonna be critting but that's okay because we wished it all back and now earthquake kind of looks more free um i also but i can get up my rocks here so i'm gonna set up my rocks and um now I'll press Earthquake. Okay, so Garbodor is gone, which is actually better for us. Uh, I don't think you go for Liquidation again. How much does Dawn Fan do against Froggator? <sighs> well, it's technically a roll if he's jolly. Uh, Alright, so Rapid Spin last time did, what, 17? So, did 18. So it's probably this set. Uh, depending what he goes for, Rapid Spin is always, I think, the best play here. At least he goes for okay. Interesting. Don't know why you do that, but that's fine. Um, very strange. Uh, but here I think we can just go for a scald on the Gligar because no more Violet. Well, that crit's kind of annoying for him. I'm sorry about that. Um, no more Violet means that that thing is taking a ton, and what we could do now, I kind of want to go into Hatterene. What stops me? I'm trying to think, I don't know. Uh. Kind of, well, Inteleon's good too here. Do I need my light screen and reflect though? I honestly don't think so. It's kind of risky though, because I this is my win con. But uh Garbodor is gone. So nothing I don't think anything can break me. I do I do want to go into Inteleon though. I think Inteleon's a better play because he's probably gonna roost. And we can threaten him out with a snipe shot. Um, I don't. I don't know if you stay in against this. Uh, you probably stay in knock off for some reason. <laughs> He's been doing some some uh, interesting plays to say the least. But uh, I do want to go for a reflect here. Yeah. So it's, like I said, uh, very interesting. But we can just go for a, uh, we'll go for a Scald this time, as we burn, which is nice, and then go for a Light Screen here. The burn might matter, depending on what kind of set he is. Uh, and now we can, in case he's weakness policy, I don't want to proc it. Yet. So I kind of want to just double into Hatterene. We're going to do that. Oh, that's fine. I just got mined up. Oh, man, now I wish I was Mystical Fire. Uh, we still have Psy Shock, though. Which is good. We're going to combine up again, though. Because I don't think we lose anything for going for that because, let me see. Nasty plot, Rotomo. I don't know if it's sub. I don't think it would be sub, but who knows. And we're at plus two. We should be clear in the clear here. So we're gonna go for a Psy Shock now. 46, interesting. Uh, we'll go for it again. Do 
Do we need to? I think we need to. Okay. That's fine. What, are you gonna go for a reflect now? Get calm mind up again. And then draining kiss. As we saw, he was faster, so draining kiss it is. One more turn of light screen, which is good for us. We're just gonna drain a kiss again. This shouldn't outspeed us, should it? It does, but we're okay. And we get back all of our health. Is this it? Is this the game? I guess so. Uh, how much? I just want to make sure. We're at plus three now. I just want to kill this Glagar so we're not stalled out. Um. Wow. Oh, no Violet. Right, right, right. So, Dark Pulse does more. Figured. He said I prep for a little whack. All right. GG's Kyrak. Um, another five zero. Man, Don Fan has been literally dying every time I bring it. <laughs> See the only thing that dies, or it dies with the rest, but it's the first one. <laughs> um, I'd usually play pretty aggressive with the bell, but anyways, GG's Kyrak. Um, did anything happen? Like uh, crit or anything? Oh, uh, well, Scald Burn, but not Scald. Uh, Gunk shot crit, but I was wishing to down fan him. So nothing really happened, which is good. Um, I like clean games. GG's. Um, I didn't expect you to stay in and liquidation on my down fan when you saw me have water absorb on lantern, because you know that I always go into lantern against you for alligator. Uh, but still, I, I made a weird a, a predict that didn't need to happen. I was predicting a crunch or something to happen, but uh, yeah. Nice 5-0 going into playoffs. Um, I'm not sure who he versed yet, but uh, obviously when you see the video, you'll see the, the name. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace.